Once I built a tower, now it's done. Brother, can you spare a dime? A million pair of boots slugging through hell, and I was a kid with a drum. Okay, I'll admit, it's a little intimidating. Three legends, all together in one room, at Carl Reiner's Beverly Hills home. Can you spare a dime? Still collaborating, and still close. You all clearly have known each other a long time. Could you say a few words about the guys sitting next to you? These two creative giants have been the, the biggest influence on my life. <coughs> I mean, Carl found me for the, the series, you know, which changed my life. And Norman has put me in movies and specials. And these two guys, uh, without them, I don't know where I'd be today. I'd and if we didn't there. find him, we wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. Norman Lear will be 95 in July. Carl Reiner is 95. Dick Van Dyke is 91. There's something about 90 hitting 90. <laughs> I know, I can get uh, applause just standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk across the room and get a standing ovation. <laughs> They're older, sure. They just don't think old. The culture has age all wrong. The culture sells age as uh, utterly going down, well, it's the expression, going downhill. And he woke up this morning to come here feeling great. I woke up this morning, I couldn't wait to get here to see these guys. It's not downhill. It's, it's, no, it's not downhill. People are, are more afraid of aging than they are death these days. And they don't, we need to tell them there's just a lot of good living to do. If you don't take care of yourself, nobody else will. And their new film does just that. You've got to be the boss of your body. Call it a celebration of life after 90. I'm in my 90s. It's in the HBO documentary film, If You're Not in the Obit, Eat Breakfast, debuting tomorrow on HBO. That title is based on a joke Carl Reiner told us in 2015. First thing in the morning, before I have coffee, I read the obits. If Seriously? I'm, yes, if I'm not in it, I'll have breakfast. <laughs> These folks say there are keys to longevity, but no big secrets. If you could boil it down to one thing, to what do you owe your long life? I, I think uh, attitude has an awful lot to do with it. Uh, a lack of uh, stress. You know, we all have stress on our businesses, but I think most of us are kind of easy going. I, we're not uptight people. And I think lack of stress, I think that eats you up, really, your body and your mind. I, I always say I married the right woman. How does that explain me? Because I didn't marry her. <laughs> well, you married another person who just... Several. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they all say laughter is important. You walk every day? Yes, I walk around the block one time. And also a little workout. Mr. Reiner likes to walk around the neighborhood. And every morning, before his feet touch the floor, he does stretches like a circus performer. I wasn't going to do them today because I was late. But I said, wait a minute, it only takes 10 minutes. Um, I did my stretching. And we stretch this way. As he showed Mo Rocca last year, Mr. Lear also likes a good stretch. Back that way. And as you can see in the recent music video for the band Dust Bowl Revival, Mr. Van Dyke hasn't lost a step. I make a list every morning. I'm, every morning I'm full of ideas and plans. Then by 10 o'clock, I run out of gas. <laughs> but I, I go to the gym, take it, drink a cup of coffee, and go, or I'll talk myself out of it. So I just go. Musical D. He also says his wife, Arlene, whom he married in 2012, helps keep his heart in shape. How do you define a good life? I think the bottom line is you have to have someone to love. I think you really must. If you love a person and love the thing you're doing, that makes well, a world for you. I think it helps too to love yourself. Oh, yeah. that's, that's the hardest one. that's yeah. the hardest one. Having a good marriage and good children. A good life is what you send out to the world. I have three children, non toxic children, all <laughs> have done great things and are continuing to do great things. And I had a marriage of sixty five years. That's the only thing that defi really defines me. Estelle Reiner passed away in two thousand eight at ninety four. Mr. Brooks, to the right, please. These days, lifelong friend Mel Brooks, who turns 91 this month, keeps Carl company. You know, if you have one good friend, you're lucky at yeah. this age. And Mel comes over every night, and I don't know what I would do if he didn't come over. I have no more friends. These guys yeah. live too far away. 
I don't go to. I don't drive anymore. I eat, though. And he still gets out, like this HBO event a few weeks ago. The funniest brain that exists today is in that head. And he's the only one who can do a cat noise. Would you do another one? So if you could give advice to people out there, what's the best advice you can give folks? Do something that you love to do. Don't be you know, living a life of what is a quiet desperation. That, mm -hmm. you know, have, have people working at jobs that they hate to go to. And that's a, that to me is a, ruins a person. Find something you like to do and please God do it. And that's something they all seem to live by. Get your knees up. Get your knees up. Get me More than five decades after Mary Poppins, Dick Van Dyke will be in the 2018 sequel, Mary Poppins Returns. This is it. This is it. Back in 1975, Norman Lear developed One Day at a Time for CBS. This is it. Now the show's been reimagined for Netflix with stars like Rita Moreno. And he's an executive producer. <laughs> Making people laugh, well, it would go. seem, you know never gets old. You stand behind an audience, uh, I've done this thousands of times, literally, standing behind an audience when they belly laugh, oh, and they have a tendency to come out of their seats a little and come forward <laughs> and then go back. <laughs> and there's, I, I've never seen anything more spiritual than that. Than the communal yeah, then, uh, laughter. Yeah. Everybody together on. What does that do for you when you know that you're the source of that? I think it added time to my life. And Carl Reiner is probably writing as we speak. His latest title says it all Too Busy to Die. You think about the end? Uh, no, I think about how I'd like to go. I'd like to go in my sleep. What we a show this would be if I was talking to you. <laughs> Kidding aside, if there's any real secret to a long and happy life, it may be just keep looking ahead. I think there are two little words we don't think enough about, over and next. When something is over, it's over. We're on to next. Smell the room. I mean, this is the moment. If you there's have something, something to get that. up for, you'll get up. <laughs> you won't die. You won't die in the middle of the night if you have something in the morning you gotta do. So, here's to what's next.